just a disclaimer for y'all. Do not try this at home. Do not buy these medical supplies. First of all, I use it because I need it to survive. If you do not need said things to survive, do not go out and buy them. A, they're extremely expensive. B, they could be very, very dangerous if you do not need them. And C, don't be dumb. Now that we've done that, gotten that out of the way, let's go. Also, I know the lighting is like really weird in here. Just ignore it. I'm in the, I'm in a bathroom where I spend most of my days anyway. <laughs> I didn't have to say that, but you know what? You know what? This channel is all about being real. So, Crohn's disease, you spend a lot of time in the bathroom. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? So, just just, just keep that in mind. Anyway. So, I'm in Honduras right now, and I'm in a bathroom. That's why I look yellow. So, um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's a little Let's get rid of that. Oh, wow! Actually, it might have looked better with the towel. Yeah! Okay. Am I still in focus? I feel like I'm really not. Also, I just want to say really quick, um, this video, I'm by no means or any way making fun of beauty gurus at all. I actually really admire what they do. I have zero challenge when it comes to makeup or anything like that. I literally have mascara on right now. That's literally it. I, I don't... I'm not a beauty guru and I never will be because beauty gurus have talent for makeup and hair and such and I do not. Do you see this? I don't know what this is, but we're rolling with it. It's cool. I'm changing a get ready with me into a connect with me. My version of get ready with me because I don't do makeup. So, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be so much fun to do kind of like a connect with me video, you know? Because I think it's a really good way to just show you my daily routine and what I do on a daily basis. I am so excited. I have been loving these products lately and I am so excited to share with you. Okay, let's get into it. Some things that you're going to be needing for this are an alcohol wipe, silk tape, a saline syringe, PPM bag, tubing, a battery, and a standard pump. The first thing you're going to want to do is just going to remove this piece and take this out because nobody needs that. And you're going to just go like this. This way you make sure that there's no part that just has too much or too little, that it's evenly spread out and that you get all of it that you need. So after you've done that, you're going to want to take your pump. This is just a standard pump, but um, yeah, I think you can order it. Um, and your UPS will bring it right to you. It's great. I've been loving it lately. I love how many different features it has. I love how this comes off. It's very easy to use and I definitely recommend this. So you're just going to take your pump and your battery. So right now what I'm just doing is I'm going to take this off and put the battery inside. After you've done that, you're just going to wait for it to start beeping, then it's going to beep rapidly at the end, and once it does that, you're going to be ready to prime. See, for makeup, priming comes first. Not in this world, honey. So while that's going, I find it super helpful to open the tubing up. So I'm just going to take this part off and unravel the tubing so that I make sure that there's no kinks or nothing that can prevent the TPN from going all the way through. end pump has gone through its cycle and has gone through all the preparation that it needs you're gonna take this part of the tubing and you're gonna take your pump and you're gonna connect it like this you want to make sure that it's on there really tight because otherwise it could come off and we don't want that <laughs> next you're gonna take your penny and put it in this slot and then you're gonna turn left until you hear that beep now this next part is where it can get a little bit complicated so try to stay with me now you're going to take this part of the tubing, it's just the end part that's white, and you're going to put it into this. This is the part where you connect the tubing to the bag. It's very important. Mm -hmm. 
After you've done that, the hard part is over. Don't worry. It gets easier from here. So now, you're just going to take your pump, and as you can see, it asks if you want to continue. You're going to click next, and it's going to ask if you want to prime the tubing. And yes, yes you do. You're just going to press yes. That sound means that it's going through the tubing. Okay, if I look a little bit different in the last clip, that's because my camera decided not to upload the footage for this part to my laptop, so I cannot put this in the video, so I have to refilm it. But yeah, um, also this makeup is not mine. I did not do this. I do not know how to take it off. It's a struggle. So um, somebody did this makeup for me professionally for the cocktail party that I just came back from for the wedding. So yeah, this is not my doing. Let's just continue where we left off. After you prime the tubing, all you're going to do is you're going to take your alcohol wipe. This is just a pretty standard alcohol wipe. Um, I really recommend it. It's really easy to use and it cleans stuff really well. You're going to get out your Froviac line. I personally have a single lumen, but people have double lumens. I personally just find a single lumen works best for me. I've been loving it for 17 years of my life and I have no complaints. I definitely recommend single lumen if you're looking into getting a Broviac line. So next you're going to take the tape off. And for the saline, I'm just going to be using this saline syringe in the color clear. I've been loving this. Um, it's really good. It's really simple to use and just really easy. It causes no problems and I recommend getting this one if you're looking into getting a saline syringe too. What you're going to do is you're going to take your alcohol wipe and you're just going to clean the tip of your Broviac line. And make sure you scrub really well because if you don't scrub really well and it doesn't get sanitized, then it could get infected and we don't want that. Then you're going to take your saline syringe and you're going to press down and unclamp your Broviac line and you're going to press down to whatever you feel more comfortable with. I personally like going down to about 2 milliliters, but that's just my preference. You can do whatever you feel like doing. That's just what I personally prefer and what I feel that works best for me. Next, you're going to connect yourself. Next, you're going to disconnect the saline syringe from your tubing. And connect yourself. Then you're going to press start the pump and yes. And there you go. It's that easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Come on, Come with mommy. Come here. Oh, good girl.